Fitness trackers are popular today and for good reason. They not only help guide exercise workouts such as running, swimming or cycling, they can also help you and your healthcare professional understand your medical situations, such as detecting irregular heart rhythms. Plus, they can help out in more day-to-day -day activities, such as weather reports and calendar alerts. However, shopping for a new fitness tracker can be a daunting task. There are a wide range of brands and price points to choose from. That's why we've done the hard work, research and testing for you, to bring you this short list of the five best fitness trackers for this year. This list is based on our personal opinion, and the products are listed based on hardware, performance, design features and price. Included are options for every type of buyer, so if you're looking for a budget fitness tracker for everyday use, or a high-end tracker for a great price, there's sure to be a product for you. If you want more information and the latest pricing on the products mentioned today, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Finally, be sure to leave a comment, like and subscribe to the 7 top rated channel for more in-depth tech reviews. Ok, so with that out of the way, let's get started with the video. And number 5 on our list is the Fitbit Charge 4. This is our best all-round fitness tracker priced at around $129. This makes our list because of its built-in GPS, heart rate zone tracking and very affordable price tag. The Fitbit Charge 4 has important new features that help it bridge the gap between smartwatches and fitness trackers so you can leave your phone at home during workouts. Those features include built-in GPS, Spotify support and Fitbit Pay. Looking at the design, the Fitbit Charge 4 is slim, measuring 35.8mm by 22.7mm by 12.5mm and is lightweight enough that you'll easily forget you're wearing it. The watch saves detailed activity data for the past week, like your total steps, distance, steps climbed and calories burned for the last 30 days. Plus you don't have to worry about your old data as you can loop back further using the Fitbit app. The built-in GPS is a real game changer for the Fitbit Charge 4 and makes it a viable alternative to dedicated fitness trackers. This is perfect for anyone who enjoys running, cycling and swimming for general fitness but doesn't need the wealth of data provided by dedicated sports watches like those from Garmin or Polar. One extra feature we liked is that it also features an altimeter for measuring stairs climbed. Using NFC allows you to use the Fitbit Charge 4 for contactless payments through Fitbit Pay and you can also control Spotify via Bluetooth to keep the music pumping during workouts. The Charge 4 is water resistant to a depth of 50 meters making it suitable for swimming, showering and resistant to sweat. That said, we do advise to dry the band afterwards. We'd hoped that this iteration of the Fitbit might have a colour screen, but it's still black and white. This isn't a major drawback though, because the backlit OLED display is bright and clear even in direct sunlight. The Fitbit Charge 4 charges through a USB cable and a full charge takes under an hour. Fitbit says it lasts up to a week on a single charge, which we found to be true in our testing. Moving on, the Fitbit Charge 4's interface is intuitive with only the touchscreen and a discrete button on the left hand edge as controls. We found the screen to be responsive and much brighter than it appears in photographs, with smooth transitions between menus. Swiping up will reveal your daily stats, including step count, distance travelled and calories burned. The Lone button takes you back to the previous screen or to the clock face, whichever comes first, and presses are accompanied by a gentle buzz of haptic feedback. You can pick and choose which apps are presented on the device, but we found the weather app particularly helpful, avoiding the need to dig out your phone and scroll through to tomorrow's forecast. When it's time to get active, the Fitbit Charge 4 delivers a gentle buzz to remind you to get up and stretch your legs. The frequency of this can be adjusted through the app or disabled entirely. The Charge 4 can track 6 activities, but you can only create shortcuts for 4 on the device itself. You get a lot less data than you may expect from a dedicated running watch, but what you do get will be ample for a casual runner. Any fitness tracker is only as strong as its accompanying app. With that in mind, it's great to see that the Fitbit's mobile app has received a major update for the release of the Charge 4. Perhaps the biggest new addition inside of the app is Active Zone Minutes, a measurement that factors in your resting heart rate and age, and then monitors any kind of workout that raises your heart rate. Your goal is to spend 150 minutes in each heart rate zone during the course of a week, which this device encourages you to do. It's worth noting you'll get a lot more from the Fitbit Charge 4 if you subscribe to Fitbit Premium, which is usually available to try free for 90 days. To summarise, we love the Charge 4's built-in GPS, heart rate zone tracking, plus the fact it looks really cool. The only downsides are that it has a monochrome display, but that really wasn't a reason not to choose the Charge 4 for us. You'll want to buy the Fitbit Charge 4 if you enjoy working out for fun and health, 
but don't need a torrent of data on splits, cadence and elevation found in more expensive sports tracking watches. Before we move on, if you find this video helpful, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe to the 7 Top Rated YouTube channel for more in-depth tech reviews. Ok, so at number 4 on our list is the Xiaomi Mi Band 3. This is our best affordable fitness tracker priced at around $25. This makes our list because of its super affordable price tag, slimline design and built-in heart rate monitor. The Mi Band 3 isn't going to floor you with its design but it does look better than previous fitness trackers from the company and won't stretch your wallet. It's notably light on your wrist at 20 grams, which means you won't really notice you're wearing it. The dimensions of the tracker are 17.9 by 46.9 by 12 millimeters, whilst the screen is a 0.78 inch OLED panel that sits lengthways along your wrist. It's got a touch screen so you can swipe your finger across it to scroll through the menus and there's a touch key at the bottom of the screen which you can hold down to activate features or press to go back. On the rear of the tracker is a heart rate sensor that sits directly on your skin. You'll find the tracker will record your distance when you're running, but don't expect this to be super accurate as there's no GPS on this device. The screen itself is black and white with a faint blue tinge so you won't get a vibrant readout of your stats, but the resolution is good at 128 by 80 pixels. You can take the Mi Band 3 swimming or into the shower as it's also waterproof to 50 meters which is a nice touch for such a budget fitness tracker. You've also got the choice of three different bands for the Mi Band 3. There's a black design as well as orange and blue. The strap itself is made of silicon and we found it to be comfortable to wear throughout the day. Moving on, the step tracking on the Mi Band 3 seemed to be accurate throughout our testing, especially when compared to the results you get from other trackers. The Band 3 offers sleep tracking and thanks to the slim and light design, we didn't notice we were still wearing the tracker in bed, even on some warm and uncomfortable evenings. Sleep tracking is more limited than on other devices, but if you just want to know how many times you woke up in the night and get a bit of advice on how to improve your sleeping patterns, the Mi Band 3 will probably suit you. Weather information is displayed by default, you'll get the high and low temperatures for the day and the next couple of days as well as a brief forecast which is great. The Mi Band 3 has Bluetooth 4.2 technology inside so it will be able to work with most modern iOS and Android devices once you've downloaded the MyFit app. The app breaks down the data into days showing your sleeping pattern, step count, heart rate, weight and more. Looking at battery life, the Mi Band 3 is powered by a 110mAh battery, we used the tracker for 2 weeks and after that period it had 72% battery left. Xiaomi claims its band will last for 20 days in standby mode, but we found it lasted longer even when in use, so you won't have to recharge this every night like some other fitness trackers out there. To summarise, we liked its super low price, slimline design and the fact that it has a heart rate monitor. We didn't like that it doesn't have a GPS and that the screen is hard to read in direct sunlight. The Mi Band 3 is for anyone who's looking to monitor their step count or other basic fitness stats but doesn't want to spend lots of money on a device to do those things. If that's you, this makes the ideal choice and we recommend you check it out. Moving on, at number 3 is the Apple Watch Series 5. This is our best fitness tracker for iPhone users at around $399. This makes our list because it has an always on display, boasts more stories than the previous iteration and connects beautifully to your iPhone. The Series 5 comes in either a 44mm case size or a slightly smaller 40mm for those who have slimmer wrists, whilst the case is still a svelte 10.7mm. For your information, the 44mm model weighs only 36 grams. The Watch 5 gives you a nearly edge-to-edge -edge display, with curved corners and a look extremely reminiscent of current iPhones, without the notch. You can swim, do high intensity interval training, cycle and even practice yoga with the Watch 5 to fill up those all important rings that monitor your daily active performance. All models come with 32GB of onboard storage which is great for keeping more music for a long run or anything else that needs to be stored on the watch. Apple claims a 16 hour battery life which is effectively a day of use before sleep which isn't bad at all. While it's coming to most of the Apple Watch range, Watch OS 6 shines brightest on the latest model and the Apple Watch 5 uses these new features really well. There are a few new features that the OS brings beyond little design tweaks and honestly, they do add to the watch's functionality. The watch's data facilitates the activity and health apps helpfulness on your iPhone. There's a wealth of statistical data on your daily activity and everything is easy to use. As you would expect from Apple, no other fitness tracking system is this well presented, instantly accessible, properly motivational and encourages longevity as much as the Watch 5. To summarise, we loved its stylish design, always on display and the fact that it links with your iOS device seamlessly. The only negatives are that it lacks sleep tracking functionality, plus it's not a huge upgrade from the Series 4. 
this is our pick for you if you want the latest Apple Watch to track your fitness activities whilst being perfectly in sync with your iPhone. If you are enjoying this video be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more in depth tech reviews from the 7 top rated YouTube channel. Ok, so at number 2 on our shortlist is the Garmin Phoenix 6S Pro. This is our best fitness tracker for the outdoors at around $565. This makes our list because of its slim down design, extended battery life and easy to use interface. The GPS watch is as rugged and full featured as its bigger siblings. It has a pulse oximeter for measuring oxygen levels in your body, a useful new Pace Pro metric, streaming music support and rock solid navigation. Let's take a look. The Phoenix 6S Pro is the smallest watch in Garmin's Phoenix lineup, measuring 42mm for the case and weighing 61 grams. We tested it running, hiking and swimming and quickly adapted to the weight. New to the Phoenix 6S series is a feature called Pace Pro, which is a digital version of pace bands worn by long distance runners. Instead of manually calculating split times and target paces for each mile or lap in the course, the Garmin Connect app does it for you, which we loved. Garmin has more navigation features than most smartwatches and one feature that stands out is Climb Pro. Climb Pro analyses a preloaded course and uses elevation data to break down the hike into individual climbs. As you enter a section of a climb, Climb Pro displays valuable information about the ascent ahead of you. Even though the Phoenix 6S Pro is an adventure watch, it doesn't mean the watch ignores the wellness side of being outdoors and physically active. You have all the major metrics like sleep stage tracking, stress monitoring and pulse ox. As for battery life, the Phoenix 6S Pro lasted over a week in smartwatch mode and a solid 6 days when exercising every day for an hour. This is our top pick for anybody who loves an adventure and wants the best in class GPS in their fitness tracker. At number 1 on our list is the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. This is our best fitness tracker for Samsung Galaxy users at around $120. This makes our list because it has a high end design, is waterproof competitively priced and has a ton of features. Samsung's Galaxy Watch Active takes a lot of what's great about the company's standard smartwatch and pushes it into a smaller package. Given that the Watch Active is a lot cheaper and the design is suitable for both working out and wearing in your daily life, it's difficult to find anyone the Active isn't suited for. This is another circular smartwatch from Samsung with the watch body itself made of metal and one thing we loved is that it looks high end without the price tag to show for it. The watch active is relatively featureless with the main screen centred in the middle and two buttons at the 2 and 4 positions on the right hand edge of the watch. There are 4 colour choices for the Galaxy watch active which are black, silver, blue and pink. All of those bands are made of silicone which we found to be comfortable even when you're sweating. In the middle of the watch is a 1.1 inch 360 by 360 resolution display. With the Galaxy watch active you're getting top end internals to power your watch. Inside there's a Xenox 9110 chipset which is a dual core processor clocked at around 1.15 GHz. The Samsung Galaxy Watch Active comes sporting the latest version of Tizen which gives an enjoyable and easy to comprehend experience and it also comes with a heart rate monitor just like an average smartwatch but it's also capable of measuring your stress levels too which we really liked. Samsung expects you to get over 45 hours out of a single charge of the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active and the good news is that's quite reflective of the performance we saw. This is our top pick if you're looking for an affordable alternative to a lot of the top end watches but still works beautifully with your Samsung Galaxy device. Thanks for watching, if you liked this video and it helped you out in any way please hit like and subscribe for more tech reviews from the 7 top rated channel. Remember all links to the products featured today can be found in the description down below. Hope to see you guys in the next video, see you soon.